Hi there, uh, my name is Peter Slack. I'm a senior software developer with Wave DNA, and we're going to do a short tutorial today uh, to show you how to use Max MSP 6.1 uh, to launch Liquid Rhythm as a VST. Now, you're going to need two things in order to do this. First thing, you're going to need a, a full version of Liquid Rhythm installed. Uh, the version we're using today is 1.2.3. Uh, you're going to want to have the application installed as well as the plugins. Uh, the plugins will not work unless you have the application installed, just so you know that. Now, you, if you're just doing a initial release or initial install of Liquid Rhythm, uh, what you're going to want to do is do an initial run just to get everything, make sure that everything's set up right. So let's do that now. Let's do an initial run. Takes a few seconds. We just want to make sure that everything's running properly before we do our uh, before we do our uh, presentation here. And I always see if the sound's working. It looks like it's working great. So let's close that out. We did our initial run. Now, as part of this uh, tutorial, I want one of have you t pay close attention to the logs directory. So go to your home directory, find a folder called Liquid Rhythm, and in there a folder called Logs. And let's double click that, and we're going to keep an eye on our logs directory. So now let's go ahead and make a patch, a new patch with Max 6.1. So you're also going to need Max 6.1 developer version in order to do this. There we go. Let's start with a new patch. Now we're going to do a very simple patch here. First thing we're going to need is the VST object. So drag an object in, <clears throat> type VST tilde, and voila, you have a VST host object. Now the next thing we're going to want to do is tell that object to load our VST. And to do that, drag a message box in. And in here, you're going to type plug, P-L-U-G, space. And we're going to tell it to load liquidrhythm.vst. So liquid with a capital L, I-Q-U-I-D, rhythm with a capital R, R-H-Y-T-H-M, dot V-S-T. So that's plug space liquid rhythm dot VST. And we're going to hook that up to that port of our VST tilde object. The other thing we're going to want to do is listen to it. So let's use EasyDAC for that. Drag EasyDAC in, hook up the left, hook up the right, and now we can listen to the VST plugin. Let's run our patch. Now the first time we run it, and this is why I wanted to sh show you the logs directory, the first time we run it, and you're going to see what happens. Let's launch. You see a new file created here called with the, with the ending plugscan.txt? Well, the first time that it runs, it actually does an initial scan, so it won't launch the full application on the first run. Uh, and this is this is helps us to get into many different DAWs. Uh, this functionality it it uh, alleviates some problems with the initial launch of this particular VST. So we're gonna so it's done its initial scan. Let's let's try try it again. What we're gonna want to do though is make sure our DAC is on. So let's turn that on. And there you go. Now you can see we're all ready to go here. We now have a VST running in our very own Max MSP. Uh, I'm just gonna create another. Let's let's uh, let's edit while we're in midstream here. The other object you're probably gonna want is a transport. So let's create a transport object. And grab a toggle button and place it on top of the transport. And let's grab a message 
blocks here and in here this message we want zero dot or zero point and hook that up to this one now let's run and see what that does so keep an eye on the background of our liquid rhythm here let's run the transport oh, so as you can see we got a start and stop now functionality and we can rewind it to the beginning so that's all we're going to do for today we hope to see you soon. Ciao for now.